I'm Ron Koningsberg, President of American Investment Properties. In this video, we're providing the top five things to know about the tax certiorari process using digestible language and direction. Before we begin, what is tax certiorari? Simply stated, tax certiorari is the legal process by which the courts review a real property assessment. If you own property in New York State, you are eligible for a formal review of your property assessment. This assessment can be used to challenge and possibly reduce real estate taxes. Number one, know the specifics. There are two levels of review when it comes to tax certiorari, administrative and judicial. It is important to know that the full process can take up to 18 months to complete. However, seldom do property owners choose to go beyond the administrative review, which is at the municipal level. Two, know your valuation. Almost always, the town in which your property is located has an appointed assessor. This individual is responsible for identifying and representing the market value of your property. Common ways of determining a property's market value are purchase price, an appraisal, list price, recent comparable sales. Number three, know the process. There are multiple steps involved in the tax certiorari process. Step one, learn your property's market valuation. Step two, determine if you have grounds for a grievance petition. Step three, prepare a grievance petition by filling out the complaint on real property assessment form. Step four, write a letter in support including any substantiating documentation such as an appraisal or comparative property information. Step five, although it is not required, you can attend the grievance day hearing to see the results of your assessment challenge. Step six, if your grievance complaint is not successful, you may choose to appeal the decision finding yourself in the judicial process of tax certiorari. Four, know the grounds. A tax paying property owner has four grounds on which to challenge an assessment. Excessive assessment when a property's assessment exceeds its full market value. Unequal assessment when the property is assessed at a higher percentage of its full market value than all other properties on the assessment roll. Unlawful assessment, for example, when a property is assessed and entered into the assessment role by a person without the authority to do so. Misclassified assessment, simply when a property is misclassified. Five, know who to work with. Because of the potential complexities of the tax certiorari process, it is recommended that a property owner retain an attorney who concentrates in tax certiorari and is an expert in property valuation. As far as cost, most attorneys charge a percentage of your first year's savings without any upfront costs or filing fees if you're successful in lowering your property's taxes. Thanks for watching our video on tax certiorari. We hope you find this information useful. As always, if you have any questions about the Long Island commercial real estate market, please contact us at American Investment Properties. Thank you.